Hello again, CS169X students. I want to talk about research for just a couple of minutes here because one of the great things about teaching these courses that can reach so many people all over the world is it gets us thinking about what kinds of things we could do to improve the experience for all those learners, inspired by some of the research on what has worked well in traditional classroom settings. So in this course, we're going to try three interactive activities that you all can do that may be different from what you've experienced in other MOOCs. One of them, MOOC Chat, will allow you to discuss the answers to review questions before each of the quizzes. A second one, M Cafe, will collect your opinions and feedback throughout the course as to how the course is going and hopefully allow us to improve it based on those suggestions. And a third one will allow you to participate in pair programming remotely even though you're not in the same room as your programming partner. With me is Professor Ken Goldberg of UC Berkeley. In a moment, he's going to tell you about M Cafe, but let me tell you quickly about MOOC Chat. There's a fair amount of research showing that when students explain the reasoning of answering a question to one of their colleagues, they often learn more effectively and retain the material longer than if they just study on their own. So we've created a tool that will help you do this that will be deployed before each of the quizzes and give you a chance to go through a quiz review session where you'll either be asked to explain your answers to the questions or have the opportunity to be in a text chat room with one or two other learners and discuss your answers together. Now everybody will get to use this tool and it'll be worth 15% of the grade total for all the review sessions whether you get the questions right or not. We're just looking for people to participate. However, in order for us to use the data anonymously to determine whether the tool is working well, we're going to need your consent. And that's the reason that we wanted to record the short segment to tell you what the tools are like and ask for your permission to use your data anonymously as part of our research. Let me turn it over briefly to Ken, who can talk about MCAFE and why we hope you'll participate in that as well. Ken? Thanks, Armando. The idea of MCAFE is that it's, a, it's another tool that we hope will be valuable for you as well as for us. And it's part of an ongoing research project here at Cal where we're developing collaborative assessment and feedback engines. So this is a tool that's standalone. You can just access it through any screen. And the idea is that we ask you to provide some input for us on the course throughout the course, ideally every week, where you tell us a little bit about how the course is going and any suggestions you have for improving it. And you just come into the website. It's very easy to use. You click on a number of buttons to rate different values. And then there's a, uh, essentially an opportunity for you to give us input that we'll be using through, as the course evolves to help us improve it. And this will be a great benefit not only to students in this class, but hopefully to future classes. And again, everybody's free to use these tools. And all the data is collected anonymously. But we still need your consent in order to be permitted to analyze your anonymous data and use it as part of our research findings. The third tool is remote pair programming. You'll be learning about pair programming early on and why we think it's a great way to improve your programming productivity. And the remote pair programming sessions will allow you to do this remotely with colleagues around the world. Again, it's open to everyone, but we'll need your consent in order to be able to use de-identified data to further our research on whether this is a good idea and whether it's helping the students. So on the next three screens, you'll see consent forms asking if you'll give us permission to use your anonymized data in each of these three studies. We sincerely hope that you will, but there is no obligation to do so. And lastly, the last time we recorded one of these videos, someone thought that maybe Ken was photoshopped in and, and we weren't actually working together in the same place. Just to prove that that's not the case, we're going to high five. Go Bears! Go Bears! Good luck to all of you and thank you in advance. Hopefully you'll let us uh, improve the course by allowing us to use your anonymous data as part of our research. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you.